Hi everybody. So this just arrived today um, at the post. It was delivered via a local post forwarding company. So the address that I saw, interestingly, is a local New Zealand address. But this has a MPC made playing cards box uh, that this was uh, wrapped in. And so uh, made playing cards used to ship directly from Hong Kong, I think. Um, printer studio as well. And now they are uh, shipping through a uh, post forwarding company because eBay does the same with their global shipping program. So this is the Antique Anatomy Tarot, the Ephemera, I think that's how you pronounce that, feel free to correct me if that is not accurate, the Ephemera edition. Um, I felt that looking at the images, this is a completely different tarot compared to the Antique Anatomy, Anatomy Tarot uh, edition 1 and 2. As you can see, this is the magician, the images are quite different. Um, so this, I will consider this to be Claire Goodchild's third, uh, sorry, not third, second tarot deck instead of a third edition. So this is the Antique Anatomy Tarot in a way that the Deviant Moon, Patrick Valenza, has uh, his universe. And with different decks, uh, you can still see that those decks feel like they came from the same universe. And so uh, Claire Goodchild's um, Oracle of Oddities, as well as Antique Anatomy Terror, the first one, edition one and two, came from this um, old antique library, almost um, this sort of old Victorian um, house or study with the books, with the plants, with the um, apothecary sort of um, items like that. So that's the box, um, quite well well designed with a gap there and a gap here. So I'll put this aside for now and let's take a look at the pamphlet. It's very succinct, very simple, very clear. What is tarot, the major arcana and then the minor arcana. So it's suitable for beginners, I suppose, or addressed to beginners and assume that people do not know anything about tarot, which is great. The suits here are coins, rods, blades, and elixirs. Uh, the association is quite conventional. Coins for earth, rods for fire, blades for air, and elixirs for water. So it's the content rather than the chalice or the vessel or the cups. It's the elixir within it, water, Go straight to the element, the blades instead of the usual swords, the rods. Um, I quite like that it doesn't say wand and pentacles because wands and pentacles belong to a very uh, specific world that I can't identify with. So coins and rods is a little bit more universal. Numbered cards, so the aces or ones, two, threes, the beginning, four, five, sixes, middle, seven, eight, nines, ending, and then ten, completion. So I quite like that as well, because as I posted in Cartomancy uh, forum, my approach to miners, the pips are very much, is very much uh, like a graph between one to ten. You know, from one to ten, well, what is uh, your likelihood of recommending our services to other people? One being less likely, or least likely, and ten being most likely. That sort of scaling, that kind of. Um, statistical scale. So I quite like that approach because it's very similar to mine. Court cards. Uh, these cards often represent people involved in your life, including you, and can also sometimes represent levels of maturity. I certainly do not read them as people, but I certainly um, see them as uh, developmental stages. And so the page is the messages, the knight is the movement, queen creation, king management. I really like that. The Major Arcana is listed here with associated what looks to me like astrological elements, which I know nothing about. And you have uh, keywords that I notice aren't in the cards. So Fool, for example, here is just a Fool. And then uh, it goes to the suits, the coins from 1 to 10, page 9, Queen, King. With, its, with their associated um, keywords. So that's succinct enough and simple enough, precise enough. 
So let's go through the cards. That's the Fool. Stepping forward. Stepping... Um, on the precipice there. At the back looks like um, gold embossing on leather that you often see on um, antique boxes or books. Really, really lovely. A lot of antique jewelries have boxes that looks like that with embossing um, books as well. The magician, the hand, self-capable, self-actualized, channeling through the self, bigger powers. The High Priestess, seeing beyond the veil and seeing involved more than just the eye. The eye is but a small part of the act of seeing, so I really like that. The Empress, her reproductive organ highlights it there in pink, uh, in flesh, the color of fresh flesh, I suppose. Um, incubation and, and, and manifestation. Incubation, incubation and realization, the birthing process in um, many ways. The emperor, management, execution, coordination, um, exertion, a very male power, assertive power. I think the thigh, um, I think the thigh bone is one of the biggest bones in the body. I think in terms of in terms of muscle size, I think the glutes, um, our backside is probably the biggest. But in terms of um, blood vein, I think I think one of the biggest is in the thigh. So there's this um, almost like the source of speed, the source of action there, the source of moving forward, the source of taking steps. So I quite like that. So as you can see, it is relatively intuitive. Um, my experience with the first um, tarot, which is the edition one and two, this is a bit more intuitive. This feels uh, very much visually, in terms of visual language, very much like the Oracle of Oddities one, two, and three. So this is the Hierophant, the Triple Cross, reminiscence of the Rider Waite Smith, as well as uh, Saint Marseille decks, where the Pope is shown. This is the lovers. Um, it looks more like the feeling of the lovers, uh, the force which unites the lovers. I see the lovers not so much as choice or as... Um, yeah, I see the lovers as synergy, as um, the whole is bigger than the sums of the parts. I see um, the lovers as the reunification of polarities. The, the natural true state of things that is in unison uh, is returning in the lovers and so here you don't see that so much but you do see the force which unites them and so I can work with that the chariot uh, for me the chariot is about uh, coordinating two opposing forces within ourselves because I learned to take that um, stance about the chariot from the Sevenfold Mystery, which is very much um, inspired by the Neoplatonic ideas. Strength, I think this is the thigh bone, which is the biggest, you know, that um, the biggest bone in the body, I think. And if we look at the Emperor, strength, you know, that assertive power, that, that, um, that yang instead of yin, that um, active instead of passive, so I quite like that. The Hermit. Sorry about the glare, the lighting here isn't the best. The Hermit are going inwards, um, going alone inwards, uh, outside of society. Be with yourself so that you can turn inward and then you can connect to larger forces, larger realities. And so sitting beyond the head with the candlelight and all the symbolic um, representations there and that is the wheel from that you can often see in the Rider Waite Smith's uh, the Wheel of Fortune and interestingly with 
instead of the uh, whatever the four thing is, the suits are there. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Justice, uh, the balancing and uniting of heart and mind, I like that. The hangman is hanged by the neck instead of by the leg. Um, so that's interesting. Death. Temperance. The temperance Association Annual Meeting. That's Interestingly, that's what I keep thinking about when temperance, that word. I really like the temperance word, temperance. Um, so that, you know, tempering. Uh, take it easy. Balance it. Balance to me is a bit not quite but this really depicts what temperance is about not abstinence but temperance the devil of course tower crumbling the star As you can see it has a lot of feeling of the oracle of oddities very much i think her style is evolving between um the antique anatomy tarot and with the popularity of the oracle of oddities because it is a lot more visually a lot more colorful as all this combination of the harshness of bones with this lovely softness of plants and colors contrasting with the black and white and a lot of people i think quite like that the moon so that's behind the back of the head instead of the front and I really like that as well it's very intuitive you automatically think about reality that if you see positive and negative when you, in photography the moon is like the negative and you look at the negative if some of you still remember what negatives are um, they don't look like reality the way we see it with our eyes and yet we develop photos from those um, negatives. Those negatives are the source of what we ultimately see manifest in front of us in colored photos or black and white photos. Any photos and the negative is the start of the positive and the moon is like the back of the head so I quite like that. And of course the sun is the front appropriately. The manifestation, realization, reality as we see reality as is a reality from a different angle really cool um, judgment rising from the dead resurrection awakening not quite sure what that's in latin i will have to google it and of course the world and i think that's the skeleton of human and i think there's eagle and lion and be, I don't know anatomy enough to know whether that's really lion and buffalo or ox. And then we have the suits uh, of coins and interestingly these are pips so they're coins um, made up of little, it's like if you imagine the Visconti coins, this is the coins of the world of Claire Goodchild and Claire Goodchild and uh, Black and the Moon and the Oracle of Oddities and uh, the um, Antique Anatomy as you can see in there so I'm going to quickly whisk through this because um, although the composition of the miners aren't quite the quote-unquote Marseille pattern there are patterns that we can work with nevertheless and the richness of color around the black and white coins the black and white pips are really quite charming very much in line with um, Claire Goodchild's aesthetic so far um, her brand her feel her so the suit of coins here the page a, a skeleton of a child and then the knight is a grown skeleton and then you see the queen with a heart and then the king with a brain so what was the, the keyword nurture and manage create and manage what is it let's have a look movement creation and management creation and management the nurturing the incubation you know that that place where you breed something with the heart and then you manage with the brain 
I do like that very much. And um, this is the suit of rods, so it's just long items basically that looks like, uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, initially I thought it was a baseball bat. This one here is like a hook, which I think is uh, for people to hook their laces, shoelaces um, back in the day or I know this one is, I don't know, one of them is, and the other one is to um, various implements that we don't use anymore nowadays. It's from golf sticks. Now this is the seven. Um, usually I see odd numbers, whoops, sorry, odd numbers as disruption of the stability of the even numbers and so um, I prefer to see three three with one sticking out to just show um, the odd one out. So this is pretty but I'm not quite sure if this is ideal for me personally in the way that I read the pips. This is the eight and so this is very much reminiscent of the Rider Waite Smith, the eight here. Um, usually it's four and four just to see the you know the even and so this has the eight pagan other world sort of um, only well just that one there because pagan other worlds if you remember um, and this again reminisces of the you know the ten wands that was carried by that person in the right away smith so there is that sense of things weaving in and out of the marseille and of the um Right away, it's Smith with at least those two cards, but let's have a look at the rest. So that's this knight. And then the king. Again, the skeleton of a child in the um, page. And then the knight. So this is less clear in the um, movement. Um, nurture and then manage, create and manage, create and manage. Yeah, that's less clear there, so I'm not quite sure how I feel about that for the moment. Mm, you have one, two, three of air, four, five, Marseille style, five, six, seven, again, different, uh, not quite three, three, and one. Eight, nine again I would have preferred four four and one just to see the disruption of the single this is the ten and so so you can see the you know all the all the knife stabbing into that one person and, and ten would have been five and five in the Marseille and so here, there's the, again, there's this weaving in and out of Marseille and uh, RWS, but uh, it doesn't throw me off as much as the Pig and Other Worlds for some reason. So that's the page. So let's have a look at the page. Um, the page, the knights, uh, queen, and king. King. Okay, so it's like hmm, movement, creation, and management. Yeah, I don't know. I quite like the first set of um, courts the most, the clearest, I feel. Um, where is it? The coins. Yeah, the coins is my favorite so far. It's as clear in its depiction of the stages as indicated in the pamphlet, which is... Anyway. Let's see here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I see least. Let me see the pattern. Yeah, I don't know. They're pretty. And um, six again with the eight i would have preferred four four this way it's i don't know not ideal not ideal uh, i can probably work with it but not ideal page queen knight and king 
picture of a uh, eternal youth, it says. And then here it says, what does it say? Fertility tonic, night, beauty elixir for the queen, and then calming tonic for the king. So I quite like that almost humorous tone there. Um, a little cheeky. So the eternal youth for the page tonight is um, fertility, because of movement, you know, where you're sort of, yeah, especially the Knight of Cups, right? Uh, the Urban Terror call him the uh, seducer. So. Uh, the Queen of Cups, beauty elixir. Now with 10% more magic, it says. Caution contains love. This one here is, says, water source directly from the fountain of youth. Here it says, not just fertility. Here is a calming tonic. So that's quite good because um, the King of Cups is a master of his emotions and uh, calming tonic is very appropriate. So I really like this. So I really like um, the Courts of Elixir and of coins, but the other two, the swords or the blades and the staff, I'm not too sure about. And some of those um, miners, the pips, which um, move uh, towards more Rider Waite Smith, I don't prefer. Uh, I much prefer these ones like that, where the odd number sticks out like a sore thumb, literally, because it's easier to spot and so it's easier to read. Yeah, so. Um, that's it for now, and I think my device is playing up again, so I better end this and upload this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!